Let's see what's on the old boob tube today. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, yeah. What's good guys, Bros of Split here, and I'm here to tell you about a pandemic that's plaguing our nation. And I'm not talking about the coronavirus, am I right? <laughs> Anyway, I have a question for you. Do you have chicken legs? Well, I got a couple chicken legs, but some thighs too, I guess. No, not those chicken legs. I'm talking about those twigs beneath your waist. Oh man, this guy's good. How did he know I had twigs for legs? Well, anyway, forget about that guy. But if you want your legs to go from this to looking like this, then keep watching this video. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dante. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro skit that I made. And now without further ado, we shall get into the topic at hand, which is on how to grow your legs, or more specifically, on how to grow your quads. And yep, you guessed it. As you can tell, I'm going to be talking about squatting. And not just any squatting, but narrow stance squatting. So what we're going to call this type of squat is basically a bodybuilding squat. Back in the golden era, you would see Tom Platts, who has massive quads, doing very narrow squats. And I believe that is part of the reason why he grew his legs the way he did. And logically, it just makes sense because in a powerlifting squat, where my feet would be a little bit wider i would go to parallel or a little beyond parallel but in a narrow stance squat you are forced to have a lot more mobility and also forced to go down a lot lower so as you can see i'm working with 315 on the bar for a 5x5 five five. and this is actually the most weight i've ever narrow squatted before i've squatted maximum 425 powerlifting style but i've never worked my way up narrow squatting i've only done 185 and that's just because most of the time i was just training for strength just training for numbers but i think like in terms of growth in terms of hypertrophy this squat will grow your legs the most so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm working my way up. I did 275 for sets last week, and now I'm doing 315, and I'm just gonna see if I can get up to my old PR narrow, because I know my legs will grow. So as you can tell by the grunts I'd be making in this clip, these squats are very difficult for me. One, because I'm a fairly tall person, and two because i am still 200 pounds and back when i was powerlifting my highest numbers i was about 225 230. so you can tell that being a lot leaner 
it is just harder for me to build up my strength again. But I'm just enjoying the process. My strength took a dip because I got a little leaner, but now my physique has made the most improvement it ever has in three, four years. So it's really all about training smarter. It's all about incorporating new variations, new techniques, new workouts, new exercises. And what this will do is shock your body into making new gains. So that's one of the reasons why narrow squats will grow your legs is just because it's a variation that not many people do. They'll just stick to regular squatting. So the intense mobility and length that you have to travel in a narrow squat mixed with the intensity of doing a new exercise is basically the reason why your quads will grow if you do this. My right forearm just cramped there a little bit, but I got the last rep right here. So yeah, people, start narrow squatting. It's going to be a lot more difficult than a regular squat at first, but once you get a little more flexible, once you get the motor pathways down, I promise you this will grow your quads. See you later, people. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Or don't. It's your decision.